Hello and welcome to episode 550 of our Ostrov Alpha 5.4 Let's Play. That's right, we finally got another update after I think about six months, six, seven months. I think the last one might have been in June, but very, very good to see some new stuff coming into this fantastic game after so much time away. Well, let's, let's run through the patch notes real quick and then we'll dive into implementing those things in our town. Uh, new building, pottery. As one might expect, it makes pottery using glaze and other resources that you can get in your town. And then, oh, what's happening with that wagon right there? That's some, uh, that's some real weird stuff. <laughs> Don't know exactly what's up with that, but we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll let them, uh, keep on doing whatever they're doing, dragging that thing around. But, uh, I digress. The, the pottery takes glaze and, uh, clay and all sorts of fun stuff and makes earthen pottery like stoneware, I guess you could say. You might uh, be used to calling it that. And that's something you can sell in your town. And I think you might be able to export it. Glaze has to be imported. And I think the only town that currently has it is Barvin Cove, if that's how that's pronounced. I actually am not sure. Uh, other than that, there's more variation on the townhouse roofs. We have a new brick arch building that's actually arch-shaped. So that's going to be exciting to put in. Uh, a couple of fixes to different bugs and things that people had asked about over the past six months. Uh, dairy productivity has been slightly increased. I don't know if we're going to see any uh, actual benefit from that or not, but that was something that I had specifically asked about, um, and a couple of other fun little things. But once again, it's very, 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 very good to be back in here in this fantastic game and enjoying everything that it has to offer. So uh, just right off the bat, it is March of 1822. Uh, in case you had not been following our series up to this point in the previous 49 episodes. This is a long one. Uh, 2,631 residents in our town. It is 101 years from the settlement start. So uh, everything is, you know, it's pretty good. It's not perfectly balanced, and there's certainly some things that could be improved, but for the most part, it's a settlement that has been working extremely well. Uh, we've got a couple different nexuses of production. We've got different things in different spots. Uh, I, I don't expect a lot of you who are watching this to have actually seen all 49 episodes because the last time I published a video on this, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure I hadn't even gotten to 6,000 subscribers by that point. It's, <laughs> it's been a long time and we're almost at 10 here at the uh, middle of December 2023, but we have a pretty, uh, pretty nice town. I mean, it's kind of grown organically over the, uh, over the time that we've been working on it but it's pretty reasonably full. I mean, you can look at the, the map. We pretty much only have this spot in here in the corner that we hadn't done anything with, and I was planning on working on a lot more of that, but then Timberborn got a bunch of updates, and you, how, you know how that works. Yeah, you, you get focused on doing other things, but we're back, and that's what matters. So let's find a spot for a pottery. Uh, we have a bunch of different production right here in this, uh, this, this strip, I guess. So I think it might be smart to put it Somewhere in here, there is a uh, there's a spot here that might work. Uh, there are a couple others I was looking at before I uh, started recording, but right here would probably be a good spot because we have all of our trade right here, and then also uh, up there, and we have the river trade here as well. It's not too far away. So let's go ahead and go into the production page. It's going to be on page two, and pottery is right here. So it produces earthenware from clay, glaze, and fuel. If you click on the help text, there's a little bit of uh, information here. Uh, 100 units of earthenware needs 200 clay and 50 glaze. Again, the glaze we're going to have to import, but we'll get there. Uh, so pottery, uh, nice mid-sized production building, a little smaller than the uh, salt works, and about the same size as the glass works, depending on how you want to rotate things. But I think we are going to be in a pretty good spot if we just find a nice rotation here. Um, it, it doesn't have to be super precise, and that's something that I uh, I tend to struggle uh, coping with because I like everything to be in straight lines, as you guys know if you watched the older Ostrov series. But we'll go ahead and we'll stick this guy, yeah, probably right about here is fine. Stick him in there. And then uh, I'm going to also go ahead and build a warehouse uh, just right off the front here. Flip that around. And... Uh, Obviously, the pottery is going to make pottery, and the warehouse will be storing the glaze and the finished earthenware products. So, in order for us to actually get anything done in that regard, we're going to have to do some importing. And I believe it's Barvin Cove that has that, so we can either go through the trading dock or we can come in here and send them a messenger. 65 coins, 
and we'll get that going so they can take care of everything. But since we're going to have some time between uh, when building actually starts, and I, I do want to make sure I show you guys how that's going to look, let's pause, take a brief, uh, I guess you could say a journey around town, and check out possible places we could be selling our earthen pottery. So I think this one, one of these has a store in it. There we go. So this actually, first one we click on, has a slot for earthen pottery, earthenware. So we'll do that, and then we'll just keep on... Actually, we can... Um, okay, the automatic resources, I guess it doesn't want to mess with. But I want to make sure that all of these clusters of houses here... And we can come back with our uh, market stalls as well. All of the clusters of houses in different areas should have at least one spot that we could put earthenware up for sale. We're just going to kind of have to be uh, diligent about how this is set up because it is, it, this does go when you click next building, it goes to the next one you built. It doesn't really follow any specific geographical order. So, oh, it's see like right here, we got tons of space and there's different resources that we may or may not have available that we probably want to put in here at some point, but we already have the earthen pottery somewhere else. Uh, in this, I think it was uh, this one. Yes. So in theory, that's going to be enough for most houses here. Uh, but I want to make sure I'm continuing to go uh, my different orders here. And this area, I don't think had one. Yeah, but this one already does. Uh, I have that one right there. I'm not going to be worried about it. This one over here has... Uh, you know, I actually don't remember... You know what? We might as well just have a whole bunch of these because there's not really any reason not to. Anyway, so that's all the stores because this is the first one we got out to. Uh, let's check our market stalls here. Uh, this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy. Oh, this one's actually uh, completely empty. So that's a good opportunity for us. We can go ahead and hire a worker and they're going to put other stuff in. Let's just check our uh, stuff here, make sure that's all good to go. And the stores also should be hiring. Uh, we have so many people, it's not really going to matter if <laughs> some person's sitting there and uh, not working because um, there's there's so many people looking for jobs. That's one thing we've done well. Anyway, let's come back and let's take a look-see at what this construction is going to end up as. I'll go ahead and get into triple speed here, and we can uh, continue talking while they're taking care of that. I always like to try and make sure that we can watch the process of the buildings being constructed because that's one of the best things about this game is there's so much detail and attention paid to the way the buildings are put together and it's just it, they do such a great job with it uh, but before we get too far oh i can't pause that's right uh, i gotta i gotta just actually do that um i did do a little bit of trading before i hit record just to set stuff up but uh we're gonna want to make sure that we have everything uh oh is that actually already done? I guess it is. Okay, well, I'll send more iron. Uh, we, we need to make sure that we actually have the ability to purchase stuff, which is going to require us to sell things. So I generally don't mess with these unless I need something, but I figured since we're going through the trouble of recording an episode, uh, we might as well go ahead and take care of some of this. The flax is just always, always something we're producing way too much of. And I'm always happy to sell that. So just wanted to make sure that was taken care of. But let's get back in here and really pay attention to how these guys are setting stuff up. I'm going to let them uh, unload most of their materials. And then we will slow it back down to one time speed so we can see, at least for a little bit, uh, what they're doing here with the layout of the building and how everything gets put together. Hold on. Okay, this was a bug that was specifically addressed. I'm gonna have to, gonna have to keep tabs of that. It says this person has died of flu and died of old age at the age of 12. I know for a fact I saw that in the, uh, <laughs> in, the in the patch notes that that was something that was supposed to be fixed. So uh, we'll we'll see uh, if that gets uh, addressed or not. But yeah, it looks like now. See, I, I love just the giant the giant slices of brick that just appear out of nowhere. But it's just it's so cool to see how the buildings are put together. It is just a really, really nice looking thing. And I can't zoom in anymore, and that's, that's too bad. Because there's, there's some nice detail you can't really see on uh, on the screen. But this is just, it's such a cool building. We go a little bit faster. Yeah, so you can see just how this uh, whole thing's going to be 
set up here. So you have your little kiln area is what he's building right now. And then uh, the rest of the building, of course, is temper frame, like pretty much everything else in Ostrich. But it is just so fun to watch them take care of this stuff. Just the love and the attention to detail is just fantastic in this game. So they're putting those uh, walls back up. And our Barbon Cove guys here, Glaze, they're selling 5,000 at a time. So I'm going to go ahead and buy 5,000. And the rest of this stuff, we don't really need to worry about. Buckwheat, I am going to go ahead and buy uh, because we just don't have a lot of production. We're going to have to rebalance our farms a little bit. That's something I noticed. Uh, lime, I'm going to go ahead and buy... Can I actually... Uh, oh, yeah, I, I can afford that. I'll buy 3,000 of that. Cheese, we can't sell because we can't even make it. Uh, potash, wow, we can actually can actually sell some. I'm not going to, though, because that's kind of a pain to get. Uh, Horilka, we have tons. We're making plenty of it. And I think that's going to be good. But, oh, yeah, I, I, uh, I obscured the best part, the construction of the dome, so my apologies there. But this just looks super, super interesting. It is a really, really cool-looking building. But we'll go ahead and we'll speed through the rest of this. And that will be uh, A-OK. -okay. So by the time the glaze gets here, we should actually be able to start production. Yeah, we have somebody dying of flu in old age at the age of six. Yeah, I, I don't think that bug was fixed, unfortunately. <laughs> I just I remember that being a thing, oh, I don't know, two or three patches ago I saw that pop up for the first time in one of the videos that I was making at that point, and I was like, well, that seems kind of strange to die of old age at the age of 22, but that's the first time I've seen 12 and 6. Uh, gotta love game development, man. And those guys are, I'm obviously, if you're aware, uh, Ukrainian developers in a terrible, terrible situation over there in their homeland, but they're absolutely doing their best. They're doing humanitarian work, too. They haven't posted about it in a while, but uh, really, really, really good folks over there. Happy to support everything they're, they've got going on. So this building uh, actually has about just about everything collected, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, now they just have to do the rest of these. I love when it breaks up the construction. It always looks fun. Uh, they are just speeding through. And that should be ready to go in just a second here. And of course, we'll staff it and get everything ready. So oh, there you go. There's a pottery. Go back out of three times speed. So you can make up to a thousand earthenware where it just stops you. Uh, you need clay and everything. So we'll go ahead and just tick all of these boxes as we always do. Uh, you can adjust the amount that it stores by default. Now you can use firewood or charcoal. If we take a look at our supplies, we actually have a lot more firewood, or we're supposed to. Yeah, I've got 210,000 firewood, so I think I'm okay with them using firewood for this. Uh, obviously, I don't need to worry about hiring options because I don't have anything else, but I'm just going to go ahead and load this all the way up with six people working. And, oh, that looks so cool when it's it's got that lime wash on it. That just looks really, really great. And these guys are going to be finished with this warehouse in just a second here. These do not take long at all. And, of course, we're going to stock all the things that this uses to produce. But I, I do want to see if we can uh, observe the uh, actual process here. I don't know when we're going to get our uh, get our glaze. But I guess I could uh, I could check. Of course, the game is performing calculations as, uh, as it does. So we have to wait for that to finish. But uh, where's our trade map? Okay. Oh, that's the buckwheat import. So they actually should already have, should already have the glaze. We should see it coming in pretty soon. Uh, that's a boatyard trading dock. Pot ash is going in there. This one is the one I think the glaze is going to go to. We'll see. We'll see when it shows up. But for right now, this warehouse is going to store uh, glaze. I'm going to go ahead and store five thousand here because we want to make sure we have plenty on hand. And then I will also put in, like I was saying, the earthenware. And we can do 5,000 of that. So that's going to be nice. We'll go to our previous... Oh, this warehouse doesn't have anything in it. And there's a granary here. Well, I'll tell you what. Guess what? We're going to store... Come on. We're going to store some earthenware here. Why not make that a, a permanent earthenware <laughs> repository? 
um, but we're going to apply these settings to all the warehouses and eventually they will take care of the rest of that but we're all ready to go we're just waiting on the glaze to come in and it should be here uh, any minute now since we already know that it's uh, come in by boat or at the very least the boat is in the river waiting to get unloaded that might even be uh yeah it is coming in on the trading boat actually we can uh, we can have a little bit of fun here we can watch them unload so we got 3,000 glaze here we've got 3,000 buckwheat we got 3,000 lime, so I wonder... Okay, that's just the other... What's in here? Are these the ones that already left? No? Okay, no, these are these are ones coming in. So, here we go. Yeah, this is just... I mean, there's not really an animation for this or anything, but it is just super nice what they've done with this. Obviously, the, uh, the whole uh, combining ships into one thing. I don't know if that's a thing that's going to stick around forever. That's just the way the game is set up right now. But yeah, that's it's just so much fun to watch this stuff happen. Another thing I didn't specifically mention, but is in the patch uh, the patch notes. When people move in with relatives, it will give you a notification of that, and then of course uh, the home gets vacated, which is how these two got married and it disappeared. But the the family tree stuff was something that was added. I don't know a couple epi episodes updates ago, and that's fun. That's fun to keep track of. Really, really appreciate the attention to detail. So let's get back into turbo mode here. And we'll have this glaze come in, and we should be producing some earthenware really, really soon. And then we can have uh, have everybody buy into it. But I do want to go ahead and uh, watch this process at least for a little bit, show you guys how that works. And then we'll do a couple other things around town, and uh, we'll call it a day on this one. Did, wasn't ever going to be a super long episode. I said, I think in episode 48 or 49, that I probably wouldn't be doing any more of these unless we got an update. And hey, we got an update, so we might as well take a little bit of time to make sure that's all taken care of yeah so you can see they got the spot reserved for the glaze i wonder if in the future we're going to be able to actually produce the glaze because uh from my very rudimentary understanding of how uh, pottery works in the glazing process it's not really that difficult to make that stuff in theory and the production chains we already have in place aren't too far removed from it. We might just have to add a couple other things, but it's a bunch of different minerals, and obviously the firing process works the way it does. But we've made earthenware. There's 500 here that are being, uh, I guess, spirited away to whatever whatever place is going to sell them. So we'll, we'll take this out of turbo mode because there's one area of the map we didn't visit with our, uh, our store tours, and that is up here because there are no stores. We just have these things. So this is one of these market areas that I kind of started building but didn't finish. And we've got a lot of empty slots here. We have these, actually just these two entire market stalls with nothing going here. So I'm going to automatically fill that one and then this one's not going to do anything, of course. But we can put earthenware here. And eventually as we start making more and more things in this area of the map, uh, we can add more there. So these guys will have access to earthenware. I don't know if up here... Oh, wow, I have two of those that are completely empty. All right, well, I'll tell you what. I will just... Okay, that's not going to work. I'm going to have to put earthenware manually there. And these two doing absolutely nothing. I'm actually going to unhire them because there's no reason to have them in an empty one. So those two areas are good. This one right here, I don't know if there is an empty slot. Oh, no, okay, there's three. That works. If I hit... No, where was it? There we go. Yeah, nothing's going to slot automatically because it's May. The crops haven't had a chance to grow in yet. But earthenware will fit just fine. And uh, I don't think there's going to be one here. I've said that I don't think about every single one of there's always been a hole. Hey, this one actually doesn't have one. Okay. Well, um, I wonder if this one does. Because one of these is going to have to. Just because of how many people we've got living over here. Mm, don't have room. Okay. Well, do I have space to... I guess I could just copy this. Do I have space to put another one of these in here? I don't think I do, and I wouldn't have... Oh, that well doesn't need to... Okay, I don't need both of these. But it would also take forever for them to get rid of that, so we probably don't want to mess with that. What about in here? Uh, I could. I could actually put one right here in the center if I felt like it. It's actually not such a bad idea. I don't. Uh, I don't hate that. 
So if I, it doesn't have to be straight, straight. But I might as well, might as well do something like right here. Put that one and then just for the sake of symmetry, I will put two back to back. There we go. And this one is going to get some earthenware. And we, of course, will uh, hire somebody, uh, make sure this is applied to all of those. And hey, they got salt too, so that works. I uh, love to see that. Now we have earthenware and everything is looking good. We're in the process of making it at the very least. Uh, let's see, does it show up on here? No, because it must be uh, already allocated. It's not going to count it as uh, stored resources. But man, we're making so much stuff. And I should have done this before I uh, before I started recording. But uh, we have so much flax. We don't need to be we don't need to be making so much flax, man. Um, I got hemp and wheat. Those are both good. Uh, I'm pretty tempted to just by default just get rid of flax and replace it with buckwheat. Probably should be doing that in most of these other places because we, we never have enough buckwheat. Never, ever, ever. I think it should be able to uh, should be able to handle all this. Yeah, at least for uh, oh, that's the active field. I guess this one can stay flax. That's probably fine. And I don't need to change all of them, but I definitely need to change some. Yeah, wheat, wheat and buckwheat seem to be a pretty, uh, pretty ready-made pairing here. This one already has buckwheat, so I'll leave that alone. This one already has buckwheat, so I'll leave that alone. I just, I don't need to have, I don't need to have 200,000 flax or whatever it is that I actually have and no buckwheat. That's just, that's not sustainable. So we're not going to go to, uh, I'm not going to go to every single one of these and do this. But, okay, that's that's in season. That's not going to be possible to change. Um, yeah. Let's, let's just do what we can to... <laughs> <laughs> to get some more buckwheat because the stuff doesn't go bad it's just one of those things where you think oh i need to have a lot of flax because xyz oh we're making a bunch of clothes but then you still have a ton of clothes and you have way too much flax so that's, that's one of those things you just want to fix uh these guys again i think we already well on some more iron that's fine that works out a-okay and i will absolutely sell the flax too Let's not forget that. But yeah, uh, this is... I, I, again, I wasn't going to do a huge episode on this. I just wanted to make sure that we touched on some of the new stuff. Uh, took a look-see around how everything else was set up and uh, just enjoyed a, a nice little return to uh, Ostertown here. We can't forget about the pigs. I always do this. I'm going to go ahead and uh, say that we can use some of these uh, other things to feed the pigs because... Oh, there's... That's really the only pigsty? We don't have a single other pigsty? Wow. Okay. Well, maybe that explains why we don't ever have any pork or sallow or anything. Can I buy any of that? No. Yeah. Now, we need to build some more pigsties at some point, but they just they take so many resources. And another reason that you would want to um, want to start growing more buckwheat is so that you could feed, feed the pigs. Because they are able to eat that. And uh, obviously, we want to make sure that we can continue to provide food so we'll see what happens with that uh one of the other things that was fixed in the patch notes uh was the iron ore deposit iron ore deposit not deposit that's not a word i'm not in well i guess if you're in uh wisconsin or something maybe apologies to any wisconsinites out there but um the pathing around this was fixed but it's not going to apply to old saves it's only if you start a new one so at some point we will start a new one maybe whenever the next major update comes in uh alpha six or 5.5 if it's a big enough change. But yeah, th that is going to be it for this one. I just wanted to get you guys uh, back in here a little bit. Uh, reintroduce the series and introduce it period point blank for the probably most of my audience at this point who has probably never seen one of these videos since we've been on the Timberborn train nonstop for, at this point, over three months. But just, I, I love this game so much. It's great fun. It is just amazing and really enjoyable to get to play it. And I'm glad I get to share it with you guys too. So thanks for being here. Really appreciate you. Uh, of course, Beard Boosters as well. I don't think I've done a Beard Booster call out in one of these <laughs> one of these videos like this in a really long time, but uh, it's, it's just great. 
you're great folks i really appreciate you uh this is a bonus episode this is not on a day by itself so don't worry there is still a timberborn video that was posted today uh you can go check that out on the channel as well and we've got some fun stuff coming this weekend but again really appreciate you whatever it is you're doing with the rest of your day stay safe have fun and we'll see you in the next episode don't know when it'll be another ostrip episode but uh, we got plenty of timberborn coming and some other things as well so that's it take care see you later Bye bye